Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install a single pole breaker in a 100 amp panel. Hi, my name is Craig Michaud and I am the electrical instructor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install this 20 amp breaker to this circuit in this 100 amp panel. Circuit breakers, whether they're single pole, two pole, whether they're square D, GE, it doesn't really matter. All you have to remember is Take your time, make sure your wires are neat. When installing a single pole breaker, one of the things you have to be very concerned with is the amperage size. You're gonna take this breaker. When you look at the breaker, you're gonna see an end that has a, like a little hook in it. When I show you in the panel, I'll show you where the little hook is where it actually inserts into. You actually take the screw where you're gonna land your conductor to, you're gonna slide that in first, and then you're going to press down. This here is a typical, this is a square D 20 amp, this is a square D 20 amp push on breaker. There are other breakers, we'll discuss that again in another video. So how do we install that bre this breaker? Let me show you. Okay, so right here is these little hooks that I was telling you about that this part of the breaker is gonna insert into first. You must insert it first. Then, this little pin sticking out here, we are gonna actually press the breaker on here, and this is where our power is gonna get transferred through our breaker. So here, let me show you. We're gonna install it here, so I'm gonna tip it back. I'm gonna slide it into the groove, okay? I'm gonna push it forward, and then I'm gonna push it into the panel. It is secure. Now, will they move? Absolutely. Is it secure? Yes. Okay. We must have at least a quarter of an inch, a quarter of an inch of insulation coming in, entering the box. Okay. Can be a half inch. You don't want to go any more than than three quarters of an inch at the most. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to come down about half inch and I'm just going to score the outside jacket and I'm gonna come down halfway around. Please be careful because if you go too fast, you could cut yourself. I'm gonna open it up, take the paper out, I'm gonna pull the conductors out, put them straight, and then I'm gonna take my razor knife, I'm gonna to go to the back, and I'm gonna cut the insulation out. I'm gonna remove the wire, or the sheathing, and then I'm gonna take the And then I'm going to take the copper conductor out of the paper and tear that off. Okay. <clears throat> now I have my three conductors. I have my ground, which is my clean wire. I have my neutral, which is my white wire. And I have my hot conductor, which is my black wire. Now this is a 12-2 cable. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to land my ground. Okay, I'm gonna tuck my ground wire out. I'm gonna come down because I'm using this breaker here. I'm gonna use these two screws here. I'm gonna put my thumb on it. I'm gonna bend the wire and then I'm gonna cut it off. Gonna land my wire. I don't want my wire to I don't want my wire to touch. I want my wire to stick out just about an eighth of an inch past the bus bar. And I'm gonna tighten it down. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little tug, it's not gonna come out. I'm gonna do the same thing with the neutral. strip my conductor about five eighths of an inch and I'm going to slide it in underneath the ground. Okay. 
and I'm going to make that type. Now I'm going to take my black conductor and I'm going to follow the same path. And I'm going to come through. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a bend. Now, my rule is when I give it a little bit of a bend, my, where I'm actually connecting it is about an inch and a half up from the back of the panel. So what I'm going to do is about an inch and a half, I'm going to give myself a little bend. Then what I'm going to do is right about where the wire meets the breaker, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to strip it about a half inch. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend the wire back. I'm going to land it under the screw. Once you do that, you're going to want to make sure that you straighten out your wire, neaten it up a little bit. And that is how you install a breaker and land the wire to it correctly in a panel. If you, thought, if you found this video being helpful, do me a favor, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, do me a favor, please subscribe to my channel. We put out new videos every Friday. Have a great day and be safe.